Good morning, guys. Today we're gonna be watching Dangerous Place. Okay, good morning, guys. Dangerous Place. Your shoes. Put your shoes. Oh no. If you have tab later, huh? I'm going to I'm going to bring you in the in the to go that thing. Power shot. Power shot. So I'm so let's get into it now. Bam. Bam. Let's watch it now. We begin with breaking news at 11 with a uh, police pursuit in Van Nuys. We have Stu Mandel in Sky 2. Stu, you've been following this. I'm taking a look at it for the first time. What do you have? Well, we are on the 405 southbound, Jeff, and, you know, it, it, I'm sure they're going to roll some tape on that. It just got into some kind of crazy accident. It was on Van Owen, right before the 405 freeway. Densmore was the street. This is the work van, stolen work van, and apparently he made this hard turn. We watched it. He actually got, he actually lost control, crashed, and when officers got up behind him, he actually backed up, knocked down some poles, and then got, got out of that area and got onto the southbound 405 freeway. Now, that van, ever since then, it really seems to be it's pulling to the left side to the right side you can see it pulling over this way again it's using the, uh, every uh, every means possible to get away from officers they have a helicopter above and you know you can't run from the helicopter the ground units are still in pursuit this is a stolen vehicle possibly two people inside a work van and we just saw some dramatic footage as this guy's trying to get away from officers now it looks like we're going to be exiting at burbank all right, so we're on the 405 South getting off at oh, Burbank. Is fine. that right? So now we're... we're nope, based nope. No, no, no. We're e Sorry about that. We're going to be eastbound. Sorry. Eastbound on the 101. That was eastbound on the 101 right there. Sorry about that, Jeff. Now All we're right. on the 101 freeway. Established eastbound. But you can see that front wheel uh, starting to throw some sparks. It is. And it may, he might even have lost a tire. And if he hasn't, it's going to happen here shortly. Probably that bumper rubbing against that front wheel. Uh, it, the vehicle's really been pulling hard to the uh, left ever since that... Uh, incident there at Densmore and Van Owen, but this vehicle continuing to move out here at high speeds, now on the 101 freeway, yeah. LAPD helicopter above it, so they're going to keep an eye on this. Not well, well, now wait, is this a following, Stu, or are we in a pursuit? Do we have black and white behind oh, this us? Is a, uh, you know what, I think, no, there they are, right, yeah, they, they are, are definitely right behind them. And they have been behind him. This was a full-on pursuit uh, earlier on when this vehicle tried to make that getaway and crashed. Uh, those officers were right there. They were right behind it. It looked like it was over. And then this vehicle threw it into reverse and really kind of pushed his way out of there. Thank goodness he hadn't made any contact with any other vehicles or the PD vehicles. Uh, now, this is the first time we're actually, uh, Brennan's actually oh. kind of putting us in a position where we can see in that front window. Really want to see if there's two people in there. We heard earlier on two, uh, two folks inside that front two suspects uh but this vehicle high speeds and you know with that kind of rubbing going on on that front wheel if that tire goes it won't be that slow uh you know letting that air out this tire could literally just pop and that could create some real stability problems for this well, man i'm not sure what's causing the sparks if the tire is still inflated sue oh it's rubbing up against the uh the left the right quarter panel i guess Maybe that's yeah, right it. Up, it's actually against that bumper. Yeah, against so the right corner. It's against right. that bumper right there. And, and if that if that continues, that tire could actually get up, you know, 
rub it rub itself into a hole and if that happens that tire is just going to blow it's not going to be one of those slow like when they do a spike strips and at these high speeds on the 101 take a look at this he's just passing everybody down there going to get a little bit wider as we're going to get some trees and maybe that sound wall in the way uh west uh, sorry eastbound 101 freeway we're going to be coming up into the studio city area yep. we'll be passing the studio here in just a moment all right, 101 eastbound. If you uh, if you live in this area, obviously this is not a good time to uh, head out to the grocery store and get on the 101. The uh, is this the LAPD pursuing this too? Or we have CHP Definitely now. Definitely LAPD van. No, no, it's all LAPD. And, uh, it's, it was Van Nuys Division. Started in the right. Van Nuys area, uh, and they got behind it, ran the plates, found out that it was a stolen vehicle. And, uh, you know, they did everything like they always do: get their ducks in a row before they turn on their lights and siren. They did all that. And then uh, it just went right away, went to pursuit. Uh, it was right by the Van Nuys Airport. Uh, very convenient for us. Right, uh, right. But right now, we're going to be on the uh, 101, and it's still continuing to move at pretty high speeds this evening. Uh, LAPD uh, still behind it. Helicopter still above it. Cross an overpass there, or it should say an underpass. So we're probably at, what, Laurel? And he's going to have a, a choice to make on the whether he's going to take the 101 or the 134. Uh, and that's coming up very quickly. Um, not that it really Very makes quickly. any difference to the LAPD. He's moving to the left lanes, which would indicate he's going to take the 134. I'm not seeing the spark coming out of that right right front as much as we did before. Uh, this, uh, this person is traveling at least 25 to 30 miles an hour faster than the, uh, the flow of traffic. And at this hour, by the way, the 101, you can, you 101. can get moving about 75 miles an hour. Nope, took the 101. 101. Yep. Took the 101. The 101. So he's probably doing what, about 80, 80 miles an hour? I'm doing that right now. And you know what? Excellent guess. We're doing about 81 as we're tracking him in uh, Sky 2 this evening. So just about 80 miles an hour down there. LAPD helicopter, they're providing the light. You can see them kind of on, on the right, uh, the, the left side of the screen right there. And uh, they're pretty much got a distance away, but that... Uh, but that light, light, lighten them up, hopefully getting some of these uh, folks on the roadway, at least giving them a little bit heads up. And then, of course, those lights and sirens. Now, this vehicle moving very, very quickly, We're getting into the Universal Studio area right now. Haven't seen this thing slow down at all. Pretty much as soon as he got behind, those officers got behind him with the lights and sirens. This driver put the foot in it, and uh, it's been that way pretty much ever since. Very high speeds, lots of maneuvering out there. And when we saw this van making those turns earlier on on the streets, it was swaying around a lot. Now with this damage, you just got to worry that uh, some of that swaying might not might create some sort of accident. Well, you know, the good news uh, for, for LAPD is they worry about public safety is that the, uh, even the 101, it doesn't have a lot of traffic on it at this hour as he gets into downtown L.A. and Hollywood, it certainly will, um, but not right now. So he, he puts fewer people in danger than he would, say, if this was happening at 5 o'clock. Um, all right, this guy is, seems to be cheating to the right as if he wants to get off. Uh, not a lot of cars in front of him. Staying off to the right as if he wants to uh, keep his options open on whether to take exits. Hollywood's a, 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 a good place, if, if he's familiar with it, to get off. He can try to get lost in Hollywood a lot easier than he can if he stays on the 101. Uh, after that, in about three and a half miles, he gets into downtown Los Angeles, um, and that becomes a little bit of a different animal entirely. You see that thing swaying? Yeah. You can see that, that van just swaying, rocking back and forth. Uh, we've, already, we've already done Barham. And uh, we're making our way into the Hollywood area right now. That actually might be the Highland off-ramp if he uh, stays in that lane. He seems to be uh, pretty happy with the freeway as it, as it has been. And this is, uh, this is good for the uh, folks on the, uh, on the streets, that's for sure. A little bit uh, more wide open. There is some traffic coming up, though. You're right. Even this time of night, looking up ahead, if, uh, if he makes it over to the 110, it almost looks like it is slow and go over there this time of night. They might have some road construction going on. Not sure what that's all about, but I see a lot of brake lights as we just get past, as we if, if we get past the Vermont uh, off ramp. Right now, though, uh, we are in the Hollywood area. You can see other vehicles pulling onto the freeway as this van continues to try to elude officers from LAPD. Stolen vehicle involved in a uh, in at least in a one crash that we saw when the officers uh, were trying to pull crash. over high. Speeds. What this uh, van saw, wobbling they a just lot. Saw. Very concerned about. Uh, I am very concerned about the stability of that van. Don't want to see this thing roll we're over. Concerned don't want to see the, the suspects get hurt. Definitely van. don't want to see anybody innocent on the roadway get hurt. 
crossing well, yeah, the downtown area. Sorry, a, uh, what they call crossing the downtown area. Guy certainly wouldn't have chosen to steal a, a a van with, you know, I mean, one headlight. Quality jet router. You feel sorry for the uh, for the businessman who doesn't have a van router? to. Uh, to use in they the morning when he needs to go out that. and get to work they and feel feed his family sorry instead. For that. His van, his business off, man. Off, yes, he is. He's pushing cars oh, out of the way. Oh, my cars God, look at him. He's pushing cars out of the way. This is what we were seeing earlier on. This person using every means possible to get away from those officers. Oh, oh my just God. So you know, when, this, when we first picked this look up, that it had two headlines. Look at that front bumper. Front all that damage we see on that front right there, that was all from earlier on. That first crash. Earlier on. Excuse me. Time to pick up this chase. He was just pushing. Pushing those vehicles out Ooh, of the way. Uh, now we're making we'll our way. I'm trying it. to just get a, a peek out the window to get an idea exactly where we are. Go north uh, we're going to move Sky 2 around. Northbound on Vermont. Still yep. high speeds, making our way into the Hollywood area. But uh, this vehicle seems to be slowing down. Now, that, I don't know if that's because he's uh, yeah, yeah. planning okay. something. Or maybe, uh, nope, yeah. he's not even okay. slowing down. They picked up the chase at 8.30 to 9 o'clock p.m. this evening. Continuing now, you can see these high speeds. And we're going to get uh, the helicopter right over it. And this chase has been going on for about 45 minutes or so. This chase has been going on for about 45 minutes or so. Towards the Las Feliz area. Since the police don't and he's going to get into Los Feliz, he'll have fewer, uh, minutes, fewer, well, I don't know, yeah, fewer choices he's or not, but uh, he's going to go up through Tytown, and um, for about 45 minutes, he's going to go up for about 45 minutes or so, so maybe he can bail into an alley. and this chase continues, and the car's coming to a stop, uh, right, about, yep, no, it's going on for about 45 you know, minutes light. or so, uh, that, since the chase started, well, turning right, turning left, turning right, that night sun can cause a lot of adrenaline, it, it's, the it's night very sun can, see, can cause you know, that kind of, uh, of, uh, that kind of, of light adrenaline, in of you when you think you're in the pitch black, and instead, the LAPD has not lost car. track around, coming back around, <laughs> Hollywood and Normandy, so what, so now we're going to be from Hollywood. We're on Winona right now. We're on Winona. It almost seems like uh, again. We I, you know, I hate trying to guess, trying to uh, figure out what's going on in these people's minds. But it does definitely seem like he's made his way to this area. And uh, that driving down that alleyway right there, it seemed to know that uh, know that that uh, alley had a, a way out. Uh, right now we're on Franklin from Winona. It's going to be eastbound, breaking our way right underneath Sky 2 this evening. That van took in a lot of abuse this evening, and it still continues to wobble. But he still keeps the, he still seems to have his foot in on that accelerator. Uh, LAPD on the ground down there, stale red coming up, going to get a little bit wider. You got some other people out there. And, you know, there you go, that white car right there, it kind of slowed down. So maybe it was the lights and sirens. Maybe it was the night sun. Looks like we're going to be making a southbound, uh, southbound and on the western. On the western. That's what he said. I, I think they on the western. Yeah. Yeah, I'm following here. Heading back toward the. He's heading back toward the 101. When he got off that freeway, he showed his intentions. When he pushed those cars out of the way, he uh, he. Whoa! About, whoa! Almost head on into an LAPD car. Right, and and. Uh, the helicopter, that guy, the, whoever the uh, the observer is in the LAPD helicopter, doing an amazing job out there, trying to get these units uh, in, into place. Uh, back on on the Highland, and it looks like uh, they're talking about possibly the 101. He's going over yeah. it right now. Oh, he's missed the 101. And continuing on. And you can see, see that was where the TA of was. Out here that's year. that's where the traffic accident uh, was. Yes, it was. Yeah, that's where it was. And those cars are still uh, <laughs> facing the wrong direction. That van sway. Oh, there's a lot of traffic coming up. If we could get Sky Two more to the right, we got a lot of traffic coming up in some buildings. So I'm kind of concerned that he's going to have uh, have some uh, have some issues. We saw what he did last time. We just want to make. Uh, See, he's coming up on Hollywood and Gower right now. Going to get a little bit wider uh, as we get more over the... Uh, look at all that traffic out there. He has an open lane in the oncoming, but still, at these high speeds, it's very dangerous. Looks like we're going to be doing a southbound turn now on Vine <clears throat> from Hollywood, and he's going to be making his way southbound now. But these high speeds wow. and that kind of van, and it's just you're just amazed that he's, uh, he's still, uh, still driving. Westbound Selma, and he's going to be making another southbound turn. We'll get him when he pops out. It is more difficult, we'll even for the out. LAPD, to keep an eye on him as low as they fly. And by the way, everybody, we oh, coming out through there. Oh my we fly God. quite a bit That's higher scary. than the LAPD does. 
Stu, what are those? What are those laser lights there that look like? Uh, I don't know. Whoa! Oh. Uh, yes, and, you know that, no, that is, those are just the uh, lights, uh, lights, uh, lights of the Hollywood area. Okay, it's, all uh, right. You know, it's, they've still got the nightlife going on out there. Uh, this van, though, look at the damage on oh, that thing, and it's just wobbling around. High speeds, and you don't know what's in it. Uh, you know, we were looking, we're trying to read the name of the, the company the quality right there. Jet don't know if they have he- yeah, it's a, it's, yeah a, it's, so a plumber. it's a plumber's truck. Yeah. yeah. So those vans can be very, they can be loaded with a lot of stuff. So this thing could be very heavy. Cutting another sharp turn up on, right there up on, on the island. Hit the there sidewalk. You go. That's going to take go. out that right hit front the, tire. And, oh, now look at the right front it, wheel. The right front wheel is yep. coming off. Oh, oh, Hits it again. Oh, oh. Yep. He's hitting part cars apparently here under right, up, right by the building. I can't see. Looks that like he stopped in front of that hotel. Any... In front of that yep. hotel, LAPD coming in, pinning him in. The question the one is, guy running north. The question is, did he bail? Yes, he did. Yep. Somebody oh, there's did somebody run, apparently. We'll be, we'll be right back with a fourth because a break. <coughs> There's somebody. Run, apparently. Two officers there with their right. guns drawn. One, at least one person on the ground. Whoops, sorry, got that guy. One person on the ground. So that's one. Yeah, uh, that's one. Uh, and apparently, that's a passenger. So the driver's still inside there. Uh, but wow, what a what a crazy chase! What a what an ending that happened out here. Uh, again, these are as well as earlier car. on, you just saw as well as earlier least, on, you just saw that right that front tire, passenger side safety. tire, just, front side, just making sure that, uh, front, out front of the way. side, but, uh, that front driver, side, not getting out. front it looks side, like the door tire. Open, you but, just uh, see it fell uh, off, it's flying off. So. When he almost well, got out, when he almost lost, want to see is lost two control, hands and the fan was going out of control earlier on. Yeah, the fan was going out of control earlier on. They don't have a clear line of sight on. into that van. They don't know what that, whether that person and, is armed or not. And as you say, we haven't yeah. seen any indication that that driver's door has opened. And certainly if the person they, did bail, they're not going to take the time to shut the door. So... We have to believe that someone's I'm in not going to take time to shut the doors or take well, time they're to using shut the, light. the doors. We're like trying me. to see ourselves. It, it definitely seems time. to be somebody inside that vehicle. So the driver's still in there, but you can see the officers in the fan, the car, in the car I should say, the fan, the fan was out of control. It was spinning out of control. It was spinning out of control and hit that car, car, and it was out of control. The fan was the fan was out of control earlier on. When you can see that. Is have to, uh, now he just lost the passenger side front tire, and the fan was going out of, of control. Fan, and the tire was going out of control. Well, I don't see any, uh, yeah, any green stripes yeah, on any the of the weapons And the tire was going there, out so of control. Uh, the fan was going out of the fan was the fan was going out of control. The fan was going out of control. And he lost control uh, of that van. And now that, door is that, away, that but one person in custody. Him to get out onto the, uh, side. I'm told that but, the uh, I'm, I'm told that that's actually a condominium. It's not a hotel. So that's no no different actually, knowing that there are people inside, um, but just a. a, a Point of distinction. Uh, is he moving out? Can't see him. Uh, is, hmm? If you're just joining us, uh, Jeff Michael along with Stu Mundell up in Sky 2, a uh, pursuit that began uh, out in the Sherman Oaks Van Eyes area. Stolen uh, plumber's truck, of all things. And uh, this guy did not want to stop. Here you see video earlier of the moves this, this uh, person made. He hit signs. He, uh, he busted through a gate. He uh, came off the freeway and uh, pushed himself through about three or four cars, causing damage to other cars. Uh, he backed up, see that sign that just went down right there? Backed up that LAPD car, back out on the road, knocked out his own headlight as he did it. Had front right wheel damage during almost all of the pursuit until he got off the, uh, the 101 and started speeding through the streets of Hollywood. Hollywood, Vine, Franklin many streets and then finally as he was making 
uh, a left turn. There's the, the cars he came through when he got off the freeway. And then finally, as, as he was making a left turn, he uh, took his right front wheel out when he hit a, a sidewalk. And that there he almost came head on into a uh, LAPD car. So he has put well, himself in a lot that, of pe a lot of people in damage. There's the final blow to his right yeah. front wheel that took the wheel off. <laughs> well, you know, all that all that standoff, all that activity right there, and you know what? That might have just been shadows up there inside the van. We've been listening uh, to the uh, to the uh, LAPD. They they were under the impression that there might have been somebody inside that vehicle as well. They're still uh, they're still in the clearing stage. Uh, but it looks like now, take a look at that. I, I don't know. Maybe he went, I don't know if he could get into the back of that van. But it did definitely appear to be somebody in the driver's seat earlier on. But, uh, you know, I've been wrong in the past. Well, I'll be wrong in the future. And, and I might have been wrong just a few moments and ago. And, you know, still it's not out of the realm of possibility Holy. that he crawled over and got out through the passenger yeah. side. So we could have one person here, and the person in custody is the driver. Well, we don't know, but that's a, that's yeah. a possibility. That's right, but earlier on they definitely were saying two suspects inside that vehicle, and in the end there might only be one. These officers are still very standoffish. They have uh, they have their uh, armored plates, and they uh, now they're approaching the back there. So it's a good possibility it was just that one person, and now they're just going to be clearing this van. But at any rate, thank goodness no innocent people. And you know that's the thing too. We don't really know when he got off at Hollywood Boulevard. He really hit some of those vehicles very hard. Hopefully, all those folks. It's just going to be damage to their vehicles, and they didn't get injured in that in those uh, collisions. Right now, though, there's still no code four, meaning that uh, officers are still on alert. There could still be somebody inside that vehicle, but uh, that van definitely stopped right now. And officers from LAPD, they have to clear it to make sure there is nobody else inside that van. And this is where and now they're saying bringing right a canine now. unit in would really help you because you you can send a dog in. And that dog can clear a van very quickly, and uh, the yep. hand, and the canine officer can tell whether the dog is alerting to somebody in the van or not. Just... Well, official word right now. We just heard it. Code four, meaning nobody okay. else inside that van. So that person we saw getting taken into custody was the driver. Pursuit coming to an end out here in Hollywood, uh, near High on Highland in the Hollywood area. All right, Stu Mandel at Sky Two. Stu, thanks for that update. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Check out this video pops up here. And I'll see you guys in the next video later on today. Later on today. Later on today. Bye, guys.